doing uh, right now. In this video, we're going to be talking about um, why, I'm going to give out reasons why you should buy AirPods. Uh, I'm going to make a separate video, uh, reasons why you should not buy AirPods. AirPods. In this video, uh, it's why you should buy AirPods. First of all, I like to say that Apple did an absolute bang up job as far as the uh, the batteries on these AirPods and in the case, uh, they did an excellent job for uh, electronics devices as small as these two things are. It holds an incredible amount of batteries. So uh, on the AirPods alone, you get about, I don't know, I think five to seven hours of battery time. Uh, as far as the case, you get about 24, you can charge up that case to, uh, to have to a 24 hour charge in that case. Uh, and if you do run out of um, battery in the AirPods, uh, all you gotta do is put the AirPods inside the case. 15 minutes later, you get about a seven hour charge um, on the AirPods, uh, which is amazing. Um, so you probably will not have any kind of battery issues unless you're in the woods somewhere for uh, over a day and they're using uh, your AirPods uh, continuously 24 hours. That's the first thing I want to say as far as uh, battery is concerned. It's an amazing, amazing thing. Um, second of all, I just want to say that the size of the AirPods and the case is a good thing and a bad thing. But in this video, I'm going to say that it is a good thing. I'm going to give you guys reasons why uh, it's a good thing. Obviously, it's inconspicuous. They're small. Uh, you could put it in your pocket, you could put it in your ear and not and uh, not have something that's uh, obstructive, intrusive or whatever. You don't have lines where you get tangled up in the lines, none of that. All right, so that's a good thing about that. As far as the case is concerned, I know a lot of people don't want to, you know, don't want to have uh, a pair of earphones and then carry an accessory to that earphone. But the case is like so small that it works out because you could just put it in your pocket and also you get a 24 hour charge from that case so that's an awesome thing uh it's pretty much a 24 hour battery pack i don't know of any earphones these days where you could actually um get 24 hours of charge of use um out of the earphones um on top of that um the pairing is awesome all you gotta do if you have these already is uh, open the case up, open the case up, open the lid up and uh, pair, put it right next to your iPhone and uh, iPhone immediately picks it up, press a button and there you go, you're paired up and not only you paired up with that um, iPhone, you're paired up with every single other Apple device that's out there. Easiest Bluetooth pairing in the world, so that's another positive. Uh, another positive is no strings attached. Now, there are a ton of Bluetooth pieces, uh, and that's the definition of Bluetooth is no strings attached. You have no strings attached. So that's a lot better than the um, uh, earbuds that have cords that you can get tangled up in. I've never been a fan of corded earphones because, um, you know, of the whole tangle issue of you putting in your pocket or whatever and the wires get tangled up, you take it out, you got untangled, all that stuff, you don't have to worry about it. Um, another great thing about it is uh, there is a proximity sensor in the AirPods. AirPods, so if you put it in your ear, if uh, you put it in your ear, and you're playing music or whatever and, and you need to talk to somebody, you take it out of your ear, it pauses by itself. It pauses by itself so you don't have to um, go to your phone to hit the pause button. You don't have to lift up. You don't have to tap it to pause it. So that's an awesome thing. Another uh, thing that's great is you can take, you can, uh, it has an accelerometer uh, which you can uh, tap on the uh, AirPods and it brings up Siri. And because you can bring up Siri, you can change the volume and all that stuff. All right, so as far as the, the quality of the sound is concerned, um, I know there might be audiophiles out there who might say, you know what, the sound isn't as good as, the sound quality isn't as good as AirPods, or it's not as good as a lot of different other um, that's at the same price as the AirPods. But to be honest with you, um, I'm not going to, 
I'm not going to say that I can pick up uh, distinctions in um, quality headphones, but I've had a pair of really crappy uh, headphones before, and I know how those sound, and these AirPods sound fantastic. Um, they sound, to me personally, they sound as good as the pair of AirPods that I that I had previous to this. So I've had absolutely no issues with the sound quality, and I've read... Um, uh, a lot of articles online on it, and uh, a lot of other people agree with me that that the sound quality hasn't um, been diminished because of um, of it being a Bluetooth device instead of a corded earpiece. As far as the Bluetooth is concerned, I know a lot of people have said some people have said that they've had connection problems. Uh, they'd be listening to music and then get a phone call, and for whatever reason, as as uh, because they're on the phone, they get disconnected a couple of times and then reconnected. Um, I don't think that's uh, an issue that a lot of people are having. I think some people are having those issues, and I did make a video of it. Uh, personally, I had that issue a couple of times, but um, I haven't had it since, and it's been working um, excellent since. As far as the build and quality, the build, build and quality of the AirPods are fantastic. I have no complaints about it. It's an Apple product, so it's going to be built well. It's going to be built well. And also, Apple was able to put a chip inside those tiny uh, AirPods, uh, which amazes me considering how small they are. Uh, I'm actually amazed by them um, considering the, the size that, that they are, that they're able to put um, a circuit board in there or a chip in there that actually did an, an, an absolutely amazing piece of electronic equipment, if you if you guys ask me. As far as looks concerned, um, a lot of people uh, have said that they look like Q-tips. When you wear them, they look like Q-tips that hang out of your ears. Uh, a lot of the some people think that that the the appearance of them is a drawback, but uh, I think that's a personal um, that's a personal opinion. Uh, some people love them. Some people aren't that that um, don't think the looks of them are too fantastic. Me personally, I have no issues with the look uh, of the AirPods, uh, particularly when they're in my ears. But uh, that's a personal opinion. So. Um, that could be a positive or negative, depending on how you see it. Okay, so to end this, I'm going to also say that uh, the fit, as far as it fitting uh, in your ear, is a positive thing. Most people who have had these have said that they fit fine in their ear. It fits snug. They've had no issues with it. So uh, Apple made, a, made it in a way, uh, designed it in a way that they fit securely in your ear. Me personally... Um, I'm kind of 50-50 on that. For the most part, they fit pretty snug in my ear. I've had no issues with it coming out. But however, um, I've used them while exercising, running, jumping, uh, doing stuff like that. And uh, every once in a while, I, I do feel them kind of slip slip a little bit um, out of position. Uh, so that's pretty much... Um, I guess it, it kind of depends on the person, but I'm just going to say that, generally speaking, uh, that is a positive. Um, all right, guys, so that ends this video. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, uh, please give me a thumbs up, uh, sub me, and, um, you know, if you guys have any comments, you know, let me